We're down to the last bill. HB 1042, provide for permanent daylight savings time when permissible under federal law. <coughs> Representative Otten, you've got the hot seat. Thank you, Mr. Chair and members of um, Commerce and Energy. I still am able to clear a room, so... Uh, this was um, actually a constituent bill. Um, he asked uh, uh, to principally do away with uh, daylight savings time. I took the track of, because there's already a bill in, in uh, Washington, that uh, when they do it there, we're done on our side. So it would be an immediate deal. But what I found interesting, I started doing a little research on it. And uh, we can go back to Roman times where they actually had a, uh, were playing with that idea. In uh, modern America, going back to a character called Ben Franklin, I think that you uh, might have heard of him. Uh, early to bed, early to rise, makes a man wealthy and wise. And wise, yeah. Well, he was afraid that people were going to run out of uh, candles. And so that was one of his deals on, on trying to, to save. Of course, then we go back then to Richard Nixon, uh, who uh, were in this mess that we are. But one thing I found interesting, I found an article, our body has its own internal clock called a cytogen rhythm, which helps in our internal sleep uh, wellness cycle. This cycle is sensitive to light, especially daylight. It's responsibility for the production of melatonin and serotonin in our brains. And uh, when we start messing with this, jumping back and forth all the time, uh, that's why you're feeling sluggish and whatnot. Uh, it takes a while for you to do it. But I started wondering just, you know, here we're trying to save. I don't know what we're trying to save. Maybe electricity for lights, but you always have lights on in a building even when you're not there. Uh, it's, it's LED. So I'm really not for sure anymore why we even have it except for I guess we need to have it. So with that, uh, that's all I've got for you. I'm still pleased I can still empty a room. Thank you, Representative. Any other proponent testimony? Is there any other proponent testimony? Thank you, Mel. Have a seat. State your name. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. Myron Rao, President and Registered Lobbyist for the South Dakota Trucking Association. As a bit, sir, I think... Representative Otten was a little surprised when I came to see him about this because we tra traditionally have been against this action, and I just want to briefly give you why. Um, when you've already got the state split in half with two time zones, and we're on do do on time deliveries, we can't leave Minneapolis or Chicago or anywhere else and not calculate that. And these guys are running on an hours of service time frame where they have to take breaks, and it just doesn't work for us. This is finally the solution. That's why I say I think Mr. Uh, Representative Otten was surprised when I said, if that's what this does, we're okay with this. Because when the country changes, we're all right. If we weren't surrounded by states that are doing daylight savings time, that's why we've always been against it. So uh, this one, I think, is finally a fix, and it puts all these bills that we've seen in the last 10, 15, 20 years to rest. Please support it. Thank you. Thank you, Myron. Is there any other proponent testimony? JP, online, are you a proponent? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, JP. Can hear you. I heard you. I'm in. I'm, I'm in opposition to the bill, sir. Okay, we'll come back to you. Thank you, sir. Are there any other proponents? Are there any opponents to the bill? Are there any opponents here? Are there any opponents? JP, you're on now. All right, thank you, sir. Um, yes, my name is uh, JP. I am a um, retired software engineer. I'm, I'm an amateur astronomer, and I'm volunteering on the uh, the board of Safe Standard Time. We're a 
nonprofit that works with scientists and doctors and teachers across North America to support natural permanent standard time, that's the real time defined by the sun, and to oppose permanent daylight saving time, which is the direction of this bill. Um, we, we certainly would support ending clock change, but this would be going about it the wrong way, going with the wrong clock. Um, there, there are several problems with this. Uh, the polling shows that more Americans prefer permanent standard time, not permanent daylight saving time. Um, this bill would be forcing people to get up an hour earlier all throughout the winter. Uh, and I think if you were to ask your constituents, would they set their alarm clock an hour early in the dark, cold winter, they would say no. Uh, this was tried in World War II. Uh, it was very unpopular and reverted. It was tried um, by President Nixon in the oil crisis. Uh, it was uh, not only unpopular, but actually deadly. Um, there were several children that were struck by sleepy motorists on the roads, and their lives were lost, and it was uh, reverted then as well. Uh, this type of bill would delay your sunrise as late as 9.22 a.m. and push your sunrise past 8 o'clock in the morning for nearly five months, nearly half the year. Um, you'd be sending uh, workers uh, and, uh, and school children uh, starting their school and work in the dark from the middle of October to the middle of March. Uh, there was a mention of circadian rhythms, and um, yes, the, uh, the biologists that study our internal clocks, our body clocks, say we need to stop changing clocks, but they also say we need to go with permanent standard time, again, the natural time. That permanent daylight time would actually be worse than this status quo. Um, this uh, this, this uh, permanent daylight saving time idea is opposed by the Dakota Sleep Society, by the National PTA, by the National Safety Council, the American College of Chest Physicians, the American College of Occupational and Environmental Medicine, and many more across the nation and in Canada and the world. Um, uh, standard time is actually pre-approved by federal law. Um, you could create a pact with your neighbors. Um, you wouldn't need Congress to act. So it would be even uh, the quicker way to end the unpopular clock change, not just the healthiest, safest way. There are um, more states that are starting to look instead at permanent standard time, not permanent daylight time. Um, so I would ask that you would uh, hear this consensus of the doctors and the teachers and the history and uh, not recommend this bill and recommend amendment to standard time instead. I'm glad to answer any questions you might have. And thank you very much for having me here. Thank you very much, Jay. Is there any other opponent testimony? Is there any other opponent testimony? Representative, would you like to rebuttal? I will open up to committee questions. Thank you. As a former dairyman, those were two of the most despised days of the years when that clock changed because it disrupted not only my um, pattern but also those of the livestock. So I, I really don't care which way it goes just so we get a, don't have to change the clocks all the time. I will support this. Thank you. Any other discussion? Representative Perry? Mr. Chair, uh, Ernie. Mr. Chair? Representative? Um, you are proposing the permanent daylight, uh, just being just permanent daylight. Uh, I understand that we've had different discussions here, and some have uh, said permanent standard. Uh, I agree with uh, the representative on the end that uh, we just need to have one or the other. But uh, you're saying permanent daylight, and the reason for that thought is what? Go ahead, Representative. And thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, principally because there was a bill in Congress, and uh, it was bounced around and back and forth. and. I thought that uh, if we're ever going to get something done with that thing, uh, if it um, uh, would pass the way that this is written, the very second that it's certified that it's been done, we would just switch over and press the change on. Representative Perry, are you satisfied? Very satisfied, thank you. Thank you, Representative. Any other questions? In or discussion? What's that? 
Representative Milstead. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Can you hear me? Can do. Okay, um, so um, Representative Otten, um, according to Mr. P, there's a lot of people that support the permanent standard time as well. Um, so not knowing what the outcome is going to be, why are we jumping so far ahead and even putting anything on the books? Because um, the outcome could be entirely the different way. And then what are we going to do? Why? Representative Otten. Thank you, Mr. Chair. <clears throat> Again, the one that they had in Washington was to go to the permanent. And uh, so that's what uh, what I picked. I thought that would be the best shot at uh, getting anything done. Um, you know, I, I, I get it in the um, uh, winter time, but um, I just, I, you know, our technology is a whole lot better than it was 100 years ago when people were running around with candles and whatnot. So I, you know, I don't see what the uh, uh, the big deal would be. Representative Milstead, does that satisfy you? Oh, it does for now. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Milstead. <coughs> Representative Bardell, Bartles. I have, just have a question of the representative. I noticed you're not uh, changing any current South Dakota code with your bill, so the imposition of the time switch is federal. So if they change it to daylight, why would we have to do anything? If they make a change to daylight savings time for everybody, then it's going to switch that way, right? Representative Otten? To be real frank with you, uh, I've gotten really weary of these bills every year and every year. So this was just a way for me that as I looked at it, I thought we could hit a home run with it finally and get something through and get it over with. So that is the reasoning. Representative Bartles? Thank you. Thank you. Any other question? Any other questions? We'll close public testimony and move to committee discussion and or action. Mr. Chair. Representative Milstead. Mr. Chairman, I move uh, House Bill 1042 to the 41st day. Second. There's a second by... It's moved to the 41st day by Representative Milstead and seconded by Representative Bartles. No. Any comments on the dis motion, Representative Milstead? Yeah, um, I just think we're jumping the gun. We need to just sit back there. If there's something done on a federal level, let's wait and see what happens. I don't think that the jury is in on this as to whether we should do one way or the other or even change it. There's not enough research and not enough polls. Um, I just don't think we need to be involved yet. And I agree with Representative Otten. It keeps coming back. Um, but let's just, I mean, that proves that it's, the public doesn't have a perfect answer. So let's not try and make one ourselves. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Milstead. Any other comments? Representative Bartles. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. I, I'm going to support this motion as well. I, I understand what the good representative is saying. It would be nice to put all these bills to death and not see them again. Uh, but um, I just don't think it's necessary to codify something like this in our law unless we're going to just make a change right now and go through the approval process that's set up at the federal level. And I understand what the other proponent said about the problems of doing that. So I just don't think we need to clutter the books up with something. Thank you, Representative. Any other comments? Mr. Chair. Representative Perry. Uh, I really admire the fact that we're bringing this forward. Uh, I also understand the 41st day. However, I'm going to uh, resist that motion. And the reason I am is because doing nothing is doing something. And... Uh, Representative Otten has said, we've done nothing long enough. Let's at least do something. So I'm going to be with Representative Otten just because it's the right thing to do. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Perry. Any other comments? 
with that. So restate the motion and call the vote. The motion being to send the bill to the 41st day, that'd be HB 1042, and it was moved by Mills. Milstead. 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 and Milstead, and seconded by Bartles. Secretary, would you call a vote? Representative Anderson? Aye. Bartles? Aye. Bordeaux? Aye. Ladner? Aye. Perry? Nay. Reed is excused. Schneider? Aye. Vascard? No. Weiss? No. Weissgram? Aye. Willitson? No. Milstead? Aye. Beal? Representative Beal. Um, it is. Right now we have four. Nay. Aye. Four nay. Eight yay. One excused. So the motion goes to the 41st day. It passed. And that puts us to the end of the agenda. Move to adjourn.